At least one suspected shooter is now dead and as many as two others may still be on the loose following the Washington, D.C. Naval Yard shooting that killed as many as 12 early Monday. The big concern for us right now is, is that we potentially have uh, two other shooters that we have not located at this point. D.C. Police Chief Kathy Lanier added that the other suspects are believed to be a white male wearing a tan military style uniform with short sleeves, a beret, and carrying a handgun, and a black male around 50 years old wearing an olive colored uniform and carrying a long gun. The dead suspect has not yet been identified, but both NBC's Chuck Todd and CBS's John Miller reported a suspect's name before moments later walking back their statements. According to the Navy, the shooting initially started around 8.30 Monday morning, injuring as many as 10 and prompting the lockdown of nearby charter and public schools. Two of the injured are reportedly law enforcement officers, one of whom was shot twice in the leg while engaging a suspect. He was later evacuated by helicopter. The other is said to be conscious at a local hospital. Around noon on Monday, President Obama addressed the shooting during his speech on the five-year anniversary of the financial crisis. We will do everything in our power to make sure Whoever carried out uh, this cowardly act is held responsible. These are men and women uh, who were going to work, doing their job, uh, protecting all of us. As many as 3,000 people are believed to work at the Washington Navy Yard. Stay with Newsy for updates on this developing story. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrews.